the next um, sort of category of tabs that I want to look at here are more about the information that you need from people as they are registering and that you want to make sure that, that you have set up the right way so that you get what you need from people. So there's a couple different uh, uh, tabs where that um, happens, and that's info to collect and forms. The main difference here is info to collect um, really applies to the, the registration as a whole. So, and, and really, more specifically, to the person who is um, who is doing that registration. For something like camp, makes a lot of sense. You could have it where you know a parent is the one who is signing up their kid. And so you might need something specific from that parent who's actually creating the registration that's different than what you need from the kid who's going to be the one actually signed up. And so info to collect is for the person doing the registration and then applies to the registration as a whole. Whereas forms, is specific to each individual who's actually attending the, the event. So we'll look at both of these. Let's go to Info to Collect and see what we can find there. And in this case, um, you have the ability to just to add some different questions here. Um, for this, let's go ahead and add one. We could do something like, um, like if we have uh, scholarship opportunities, um, we could ask if people are interested in that. So um, contact me about scholarship opportunities. And for this, we could even just make it a checkbox so that as they go through, if they want to do that, check the box and we can get in touch with them about that. Go ahead and save that. Over here in the settings on the far right, I want to look at that with you. What this is all about is, again, this is directed toward the person who's doing the registration. This is all about who you want them to be able to register. Um, and you can set this up in a number of different ways. Do you want to limit it just to people in their household? Um, or do you want to give them the chance to um, also register a guest with what they're doing? Or do you want them to be able to register someone who's not in their household and add them to their household at the same time? The way you can, can select between these different options allows you sort of all, all those ways to do it. And so this might depend on the event. So like for a camp, um, you might want to make sure that people have the opportunity to register a guest because you might have you know, a parent who's registering their child and also their child's friend. And so they're not going to be part of their household, but, um, but they should be able to register them. You might want to give them that option. You might just this might depend on just how you want to handle some of these things in general as a church and how you want to handle households. Do you want to allow people to add people to their household or do you, do you want to approach that a different way? So just make sure that, that you have um, these different options set up um, in the way that makes the most sense for the event and for your church. So that's info to collect. Now let's go ahead and take a look at forms. And again, forms is uh, specific to each individual who's actually attending the event. And by default, we've got this attendee information form in here, which makes it really easy to just add, um, add some simple questions um, that can apply to each of those different individuals. So you can go ahead and do that. But the other thing I want to show you that's really cool is you can go ahead and add um, uh, a pre-existing form that you've already created somewhere else. You don't have to go and recreate it here. So let's show um, how that looks. Let's go ahead and do a new form. And if you've got a PDF, you can do that if you, if you really enjoy uh, printers and that kind of thing. Um, you can do that that way. Um, but the really cool way to do this is to select a people form. People, in this case, being Planning Center people. Go up to the top left and take a look at this drop down. Planning Center people, um, which is the, the central database of the whole Planning Center system and is um, is uh, available to you for free um, with whatever your planning center subscription is. And so what you can do is over in Planning Center People, you can go and create a form and then you can link to it right here through registrations. So for something like camp, oh, you know, maybe we need an activity release form. We don't have to go ahead and recreate that every time or go through and, and you know, do, do, do the PDF thing and print it out every time. We can just create that form over in People and then every time we need it in registrations, we can just link to it right here. Super simple, easy, and um, 
uh, much better that way. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now our activity release is there, and that'll be available for each individual as, as they go through and sign up.